guys. Movie Gamer News here today. I'm here to talk about um, something Spider-Man related for the new movie. Um, about those tickets. Now, I know people, some people weren't able to get their hands on them. But, I was lucky enough to, to get at least four tickets for, my, for me, two friends, and my aunt. So on December 17, I'm going to see Spider-Man No Way Home. And I am so excited because I've been waiting for this third movie ever since they, ever since Tom Holland has said Spider-Man 3 was going to happen. I was like, all right, but it's like, what is the, what's the, like, what's the plot going to be? Blah, 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 blah. But, um, it's going to be exciting to see what goes on in this new movie. I've been, like I said, I've been waiting for this one yet again. Can't wait. See what goes on. You escaped prison convoy, but stayed in I want to see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield show up. Like that would be so cool. That would be amazing to see in the new movie. In fact, you no know, Spider-Man. Some three actors from Spider-Man. I'm I'm thinking maybe Miles could be in it, but that's the thing. You never know. You never know what could happen. Where'd he go? Whoa. So yeah, that's that's the thing. Spider-Man No Way Home. I already got my tickets. Um and if you're wondering what day I got my tickets, I ended up getting them on um November 29. Like what I did, what here's what I did. Pretty much what I did was I um it was like midnight, okay, the when the time the tickets were available. I was on I was on the site, but they took me to the thing where it's like you gotta wait this long to get your tickets. I was like, alright, so I waited and waited. It was one something. I was spot I was about to get my seats, but um the only problem the seats the people kept trying to buy those seats. So I wasn't able to get those seats specifically for the movie, but um I ended up getting different seats and that was good. But the thing is that's not what I did. What I did was I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to bed. I stood up to like two that night waiting to get those tickets. I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm like I'm not gonna wait no more. I'm going to buy my tickets. And what did I do? I ended up um you know, going to bed. Woke up at 5 a.m. It was like 5:30ish. And then um pretty much that was it. Uh 5:30 a.m. I woke up. And I was able to get four seats. The theater was almost full, but I was lucky enough to even get any, so that was good. So I, but I'm ready to see this new movie. I can't wait to see what happens. I mean, obviously, it's so very obvious. They make it obvious that Toby and Andrew are gonna get involved in the film. And here's the thing: I was in, I was talking with my cousin about this one year ago. We were like talking about like what we think could happen in the third Spider-Man movie. I'm like, what if this happens? And she's like, no. You, you, uh, well, she doesn't. She didn't think. She didn't think it was a bad idea. But she's like, well, we, we, we both agree that it could happen. Honestly, I can't wait. I'm really excited for this movie, and this is the best part. I might even see it twice. But, maybe some Marvel movies, like when they're that good, I'll see it twice or three times. But, um, but you know. But that's the thing, you know, this new Marvel movie is so anticipating because it's, it's the biggest anticipated Marvel movie of this year. And it's like, how can you not be excited for Spider-Man? And you know, it's gonna be the biggest film in cinematic history for right now. But let's see how it can beat Endgame. Let's just think. Because nothing, I don't know if anything can beat Endgame just yet. And that's the thing. I'm, the, the villains that are involved in this film, like Green Goblin, freaking, freaking, um, Doc Ock. And um, Sandman, and like you got like Electro and Lizard, like that's exciting. But I mean, there is a six villain. If you already saw Venom, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, but um, if you didn't already, I'm sorry. Go check it out. Uh, save for me credit. Like the, the thing is, the most, the one villain I'm really excited to see reappear in Spider-Man: No Way Home is Green Goblin. 
I like Green Goblin so much ever since I was little. And when I first, when my mother first showed me the first Spider-Man movie, I really liked how Green Goblin was. I was like, whoa. And then I saw, I saw a Spider-Man show on Broadway when I was little, and I was like nine-ish. And that was even better because Green Goblin was the bad guy in that one as well. I was like, wow. I was like, this is making me like Green Goblin even more. But, um, but honestly, I can't wait to see how this film goes. I'm so excited for it. I am ready. I'm glad that I was able to get my tickets on opening day. I would have tried Thursday night, but I said no. Well, not even. I, my friends and I, we agreed that we would see it on, um, on the day it comes, on the Friday it comes out, because there are not a lot of us will be able to see it for the, for the Thursday night. And I was like, all right, let's do that then. But, you know. Hey, the messy. That's, that's that. Just painted. But overall, I can't wait to see what happens in the movie. I want to see Andrew. Well, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Andrew. He's all right. He's, he's okay. But not as good as Toby, though. I can't wait to see Tobey Maguire Spider-Man team up with Tom Holland Spider-Man. Can't wait to see, um, well, you know, pretty much all three of them team up together with Tom, Andrew, and Toby. Yeah, I think the best for last. Um, but, um, that's the thing, you know, I, I like the fact that that's happening. So yeah, that's the thing. Spider-Man No Way Home is going to be the biggest movie in the history of films. Can't wait. But the thing is, the chances of Miles Morales showing up is kind of a possibility because this is coming from Sony. And you never know, or oh, oh, Sony and Marvel Studios, but um, this is Sony's decision. But that's the thing, I mean, if they plan to show Miles, it's either for a post credit scene or something else entirely. Like, it could be like in the movie as well. Well, speaking of in the movie, actually, in the movie, that's kind of in the movie, so I don't even know why I'm saying that. But yet again, um, Spider-Man No Way Home, December 17, I'm seeing it, I am so ready. I hope that people who get to see it a little before don't spoil it, you know, I mean, even though that's going to be the case. Everyone does that, everyone will spoil something, but um, either way, it's going to be a great experience to see in theaters because, you know, who wouldn't want to watch Spider-Man in theaters? But here's the thing, even if I have to watch the movie, say, in standard, Dolby, maybe like TV or something like that, or in IMAX, I choose the one that I'd want to see it in, but if none of, none of those are available, then I'll choose the one that is, and then boom. Is, that's how that is. I mean, remember Aquaman, Marvel Suit is Aquaman. Oh, I'm just kidding. That's DC. Though. It's Warner Brothers and DC. Aquaman was good. I'm not going that was good. We're, we're on the topic of Spider Man on my home. So, let's do that. We're on Spider Man time. Okay. So, yeah, that's that. Um, um, overall, if the Prowler could show up in the post credits scene as well. I mean, that'd be interesting. Yet again, I don't know if this is gonna happen. It doesn't feel like it's a little too soon. Plus, uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man would have had done something terrible to probably for him to even become a villain. Now, the tease that they showed in Spider-Man and uh, Hawkeye with, um, with I think, it's the fourth episode coming next week, next Wednesday, no, this coming Wednesday, and then um, the Wednesday afterwards is episode five for Hawkeye, and episode six is going to be on the 22nd of December. Me, I like to count until Christmas Eve, 
because if you just count to Christmas Day, then that might be like, it, it, it makes it seem like, you know, really longer, maybe longer for days to come. But, that's when Christmas Eve is, you know, almost here, Spider-Man's almost here, all these things, all these new, all these new movies are coming out these years, and it's insane to see how it's going to go. Because you never know which one can flop and which one can, you know, won't flop. But overall, tell me in the comments, are you ready to see Spider-Man No Way Home? Do you think it's going to be good? Or do you think it's going to turn out bad like some other MCU Phase 4 movies? But yeah, I'm pretty much why I'm not playing Peter Parker Spider-Man right now, because I want, I don't, I don't have my, I mean, I have my Spider-Man game, but it's not for, um, it's not for my PS5, it's for my PS4, and I'm not trying to play my PS4. Because I'm on my PS5 right now, so, you know. Why? Again. See what happens for trying to rob. So yeah, that's um that's it for today's video guys. I wanna say thank you guys for watching and make sure to hopefully get your tickets for Spider-Man No Way Home on December 17th. Or, you know, afterwards, but, you know. Peace out, guys.